Hi, my name is Ricky. I'm 39 years old and I suffer from social anxiety. Now, my social anxiety is a very common anxiety that a lot of people don't even know that they're going through. And one of the common symptoms here is where you just everyday tasks, you don't know how to do it. You don't know how to get started. Things that you normally enjoy, they just seem like tedious tasks to you and you just don't know where to go. You feel a huge load on your shoulders, um, stress and you just don't know and eventually you just get overwhelmed. In my case, I have that as well as what I call phone anxiety and that is um, answering messages, letting messages pile up. Not intentional though, um, but that is a, a caused by the social anxiety as well. It's just taken to an extreme and um, that's completely normal. Every time my phone rings, I, I can feel that jolt in my body and it takes a lot of work and I think that um, recognizing it is the first step to it and um, I think the second step to that is certainly in my case um, is the cause of it. It is something that is a very common word and, and used very frequently, uh, maybe too much, and that is burnout. Burnout is something most people, including myself, you don't realize how bad it actually is when you're going through it. And that is caused by stress, lack of sleep, lack of eating, um, a whole lot of different things. And um, eventually you're just gonna crash. And for me, what I find is a good remedy to that is to give yourself some time as hard as it is. I know a lot of people are in jobs where it's very difficult to get that type of leave. Um, if you can take a power nap, if you can take a day, if you can take a week, I really, really advise that. Take that time to yourself and realize that you are important and that your health can take a major, major drop. I do realize this is easier said than done. Now, none of the things that I've just mentioned are going to work. If you are going to step into that environment, that exact same environment, unchanged, after you have whatever sort of break that you found for yourself, whatever it may be, it's not gonna do you any good. So try something else. Start gym when you get back. If you're not able to go to gym, go for a five minute walk. It costs nothing. If that's something that is, doesn't work for you, if you enjoy music, maybe put on headphones, just isolate yourself five minutes, put your favorite music on, relax, tell yourself that you're worth it. And I think that knowing that you've scheduled yourself into something that's different, even if it's only a small percentage different, to what you were going into uh, when you first went on to this break, you'll feel a lot better even when you're on that break. And I think that's part of the healing process, knowing you're going into something different. And start with something small and then build on that. I can guarantee you will start feeling better. In my case, it's gym. And it's also very difficult sometimes to find motivation to go to gym. Um, with the social anxiety, with everything that I have, um, the phone call anxiety, or should we just say the phone anxiety, the WhatsApp anxiety, um, but I pick myself, I go and I feel a lot better after that. And knowing that I have a gym contract in place, just having that gym contract is that little example that I was speaking about where I know in the back of my mind, I have something different. And I know if I'm having an anxiety attack, a panic attack, I can get in the car, five minutes up the road, get on the treadmill, run, lift some weights. It's really, really good. And it's healthy for me as well. And I think that just helps me knowing um, whether I go to gym or not that I can and I'm able to go to that gym. So if you're having that complete burnout and you're having that, all that type of anxiety where you just can't get things done, let's say for example, you can't put your shoes on every day, you're having trouble doing that, you're procrastinating, it happens. And um, what I would advise is put the one shoe on and it will motivate you to put the other shoe on. Um, it's something that works for me. Yes, I have my shoes on, but I think you guys get where I'm going with this. If this video helped you guys in any way, please consider giving us a like and subscribe. Please comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear your stories, your struggles, if I can help you in any way. I'm no doctor, qualified doctor in any way, um, but based on my experiences, if I could help you, or even if it helps you just to tell your story, which was the case in our previous video, that will help me quite a lot and uh, it will be therapy for us all. If you know anyone that's suffering from these type of symptoms, please can you share that with them? We'd really appreciate that as well. We'd like to get this message across and help as many people as possible. Thank you guys all so much and we appreciate all your support and all of you that watches our content. And until next time, like I always say, be kind to others.